Hello and welcome to Tech Again Mobile. And this time I'm checking out a bit bigger screens and a uh, multi touch screen. And I'm here at the headquarters of uh, multi touch in Finland. Yep, welcome. And he's Tommy Ilmonen and he's going to show you a bit around uh, the new multi touch cell. And uh, actually, we have two cells over here. So yep. we have 40. These are 42, 46 inch models. Okay. So it's 46 inches diagonal, one meter width. 60 centimeters height. Okay, a and unit. And these are two uh, units, but actually they talk to, talk to them. Uh. Yep. So we have a computer running in the background, which is uh, using these two as one single unit, basically, yep. one single display. So you can you can use it as a one a module, or or actually combine as as many as you want to have a really big wall of, uh, of multi-touch. Yeah, exactly. And That's and the idea. And the application we are right now using is, uh, is for preview pictures. And uh, can, can you show me around? Oh, uh, yep. So a basic idea is that this is a sort of a timeline application. Um, for this one, right now, a few minutes ago, I downloaded pictures from Flickr, just using scripts uh, with a keyword, gadget. Uh, we can, of course, zoom in and out in this timeline, so when there is something interesting here, for example, we can add a bit more, a bit more look over there. Mouse, not very interesting. Well, there's something more. More buttons and so on. Okay, so we can. And then, <coughs> we can zoom out again, a bit of an overview what kind of pictures people have been taking. Okay, and basic manipulation is uh, rotating and uh, and uh, zooming in and out, drawing them away, drawing... Oh, yeah, now we can. And we can do play it the together. Form. Oh, that's nice. So it doesn't really really, really matter if uh, there is uh, many or just one user at the same time. Yeah, well, that's the one of the ideas is that um, this is really meant to be a multi-user system. <coughs> so several people could be using this at the same time, and, um, this is really nice. and that's why the multitask really is important when you have multiple users there. It looks like my desktop. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Good. So uh, the applications, uh, where are you targeting these this, uh, walls? Is it for showrooms? Showrooms are one thing, then there's um, digital signage, uh, trade shows, Public information systems, like for example museums, um, museums that have large visual collections of material, videos, pictures, and so on. Okay, so Those we can, we can uh, see videos on, on that too. So yeah, I'll bring up the other app the application with the videos okay. after this one. Um, okay, so we'll start it up. Let's, let's play. Uh, what about the applications? Do you 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 have an SDK available? Yep. So basically, um. In a way, we are a software company, but we also happen to do hardware because yeah. nobody else does it for us. So uh, we have software that you can uh, use to create these applications, and then they can run on this, um, this type of a big displays. Okay. And the idea is that you have a fairly flexible tool chain so that you can write applications that can run, let's say, on small 30-inch displays, even smaller than that. Okay. Well, then these <coughs> bigger displays, then you can stack these, put side by side, you can do 20 displays if you want. It's just a. Oh, <coughs> and, and you also do custom software if needed. Yep. Okay. So this, for example, is um, something that's been requested by a customer. So we are sending one of these boxes over to one of our first customers in, uh, in Scandinavia, and uh, we're asking for this software. So we're providing this for them. Cool. So show me some other softwares you have. Okay. Just a second. Okay, so this one is uh, this one is again quite a lot about media, but the approach is a bit different. So here is uh, the pictures and uh, videos are organized in this sort of uh, collections, or called we call canvases here. And the idea is, of course, that um, then you can, for example, mm. yeah, there's the elephant stream going back in high resolution version. Okay, so we are we are playing high def video right now and. And still playing with it. That's nice. Well, let's put a few more of these to play. Oh. <laughs> Just so that you know, it's capable. <laughs> That's cool. 
And by the way, there are the previews running on the side panel. Okay, that's really nice. So it's capable of doing uh, HD on multiple windows and uh, and also lets people to, to check out their own stuff on the smaller screen. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, it works. Yes, and um, let's see if we can stop some of the videos for the time being. Go here. Um, one of the things we have is uh, since this is based on LCD and full high definition panels, we have uh, a lot more resolution and image quality than what the traditional, traditional let's say projector based multi systems yeah. have. So right now in these pictures, you can for example see that the black is really black. Yeah. You can call it black, and it's not some dollar gray which you. Yeah, the resolution is yeah. totally different. And actually see the images, and then of course also the color quality is a lot better, stability is better. Something uh, a lot of our customers are interested in is this long durability, because projectors every few thousand hours you have to change the bulbs. Yeah. But with LCDs we can get to lifetimes of something like 50,000 hours, yeah, yeah. which is six years of use non-stop. Yeah, yeah, and I, I, I could imagine you can do even better when the LC LCDs are are better, so you are right now scaling on the, on the mm -hmm. price versus quality, I guess. Yeah, well, we are already creating our own custom backlights for this. Okay. So it's not the standard standard cues that you would get with most of the LCD televisions or LCD backlights, but it's uh, based on white LEDs, which gives it a lot more durability. And it also means that it's uh, transport-wise a lot better. It's, you can just, it's a very solid block that you can put into your <coughs> box and then ship around. That's really nice. Did you have a, another software? I think that's it. Uh, well, we have a very standard drawing software, but that's something that pretty much oh. everybody has. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we really need to show that. Yeah. So the main difference here is that uh, it has long durability. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I read something that it, it actually uh, looks your hands, so it knows that you are two different hands or people, not, not just dots on the screen. That's true, yeah. That's one of the interaction was quite an important point. <coughs> we can have many people playing around and it does not confuse the hands. Yeah. It really feels uh, actually it's, it feels really fluid. You you just don't need to think what you're doing. It's just doing it and there's no lag whatsoever on the on yeah. the manipulator. So it is it is really nice. So so on the uh, you're running this now on the on a normal desktop uh, uh, computer. Yeah, that's an ordinary, ordinary Linux PC that we are using. Well, okay, this one has two graphics cards, just so that we can run video displays, and uh, everything is running at 60 frames per second. So the cameras are processing the input image at that speed, and um, then on. And, uh, is running there. and this is starting. The smaller screen is starting from seven thousand dollars, like. Okay. Yeah, it's around seven thousand okay. dollars. So, so from the thirty-two inch models. Yeah. So that's not even that that costly if you think about how cool the effect this is. So I think it's really nice, especially as, as it's nice to use, not just a, just something that needs to needs to be learned or, or or think about. Yeah, we've been doing this for a, since last year. We I think yeah, it was us built them first out to our public multi-touch installation in Helsinki. And uh, they already we started with this idea that many users, very long shared learning curve, so you can have people come in and uh, the design is aimed so that they can learn the system in, let's say, five seconds. This is nice, yeah. It's looking good. Good. So you have practiced this over here now, so it looks really solid. It's no gimmicks and easy to use. So I think it's, it's really a nice thing. Hopefully you sell nicely. Thanks okay. for the interview and uh, thanks for coming. Hands on. This is cool. So okay. more stuff at tkkmobile.com. I think next next stuff will be a little bit smaller than this one, but this is cool. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Thank you.